I'll start this video with the request for engagement actions, which typically goes at the end. A financial pitch will come later in the video, so I would like to mention these other ways you can help this project see fruition, regardless of your ability to contribute financially. If you are watching this video on YouTube, I invite you to visit my VidMe channel, which I will link below. I post various types of videos there, including the kanji animations you see in the background. If you are watching this video on VidMe, I invite you to visit the YouTube channel I have created for this project, which I will link below. I am also linking my Patreon page. One of the few advantages of being a video creator after the apocalypse is that I don't need to waste time explaining how Patreon works. What follows is the pitch I have written there. A Journey of 10,000 Strokes is a video series designed to teach kanji ideographic characters of Chinese origin used in the written Japanese language in a thorough and methodical manner. Each video will showcase one kanji. The examination will include the composition, either stroke order, graphic etymology, etc., meanings, specifically a comparison of the heist of keyword against the meanings listed by Denshi Jisho, and phonetic readings with examples for each standard on and code reading, using high frequency words or phrases whenever possible. The first 2,200 videos will cover kanji in the order they are listed in the sixth edition of Remembering the Kanji by James Heisig. The reason for this is that Heisig orders the kanji based upon structural components, which facilitates teaching the writing and recognition of each kanji in such a way that minimizes the need for rote memorization. However, whereas the Heisig method centers upon artificial mnemonic constructions, I plan to focus on the context of the spoken Japanese language and Japanese culture to aid in learning and remembering the kanji. This is specifically a course in the kanji directed toward people who have at least a passing famili familiarity with or are already in the process of learning the Japanese language, and therefore is not meant as a general course in learning to speak Japanese. That being said, I welcome questions about the Japanese language from patrons and viewers, since I would like to address common points of confusion or curiosity, either where they might fit in the kanji videos, or in supplemental patron-exclusive videos. Topics I am currently considering for Patreon exclusive videos include post-positional particles and preparation for the JLPT. Even under optimal conditions, reaching my goal of creating at least 3,000 videos in this series will take several years to complete. The financial backing of people like you is essential to providing the financial security to allow me to devote the significant amount of time in production that this project requires. I have set up my reward levels to correspond to US bill denominations. To potential patrons I ask, what is the largest bill whose absence you would be unlikely to notice if you misplaced it? That amount is how much I humbly ask from you to do this work. If even one dollar is more than you can spare, please share this pitch with others. It really does help. 